Okay, this video is because I want to uh, add another point or two to my original Doctor Doom video. Um, I'm sure plenty of people have said this. Uh, I guess it just merits saying um, this. This is more about that character, that literary character, Doctor Doom. Um, and this is this isn't about how he's conveyed. This is about uh, settings settings of the story, his origin, um, because they don't, they, they alter his origin for film, and it makes the character less effective, um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you his story, his actual story, and I'm gonna make fun of him anyway, because actually when you go through and look at it, it's kind of a funny story, which is probably why they decided to change it, so it, there's this dumb duality about it where it's it's the corniest most idiotic thing in the world um it but it's just the good version and the other one's the other one's no good and no one likes it <laughs> um so you think like okay now this is something that that holds up doom knew the fantastic four before they had powers Doom and the Fantastic Four both have powers. They knew each other through that whole time. Having powers is rare. But here's here's the unbelievable coincidence that we just accept in this story. It's that they didn't get their powers from the same place. The Fantastic Four got their powers from a space accident. Doom gave himself his powers. He's this big genius. So that's just how it is. We just accept that. Um, now this leads into the funny fact uh, that people say that Doom lives in Reed Richards' shadow. Um, technologically speaking. As a, as a mind. Um, and I guess this is true despite the fact that Doctor Doom never got himself in a space shuttle accident. But whatever, apparently Richards, Reed Richards is still better than Dr. Doom with technology, which actually really puts Dr. Doom up a creep because now uh, Reed Richards has, you know, just fell, fell out of the sky powers, plus being better at technology than Dr. Doom, who pretty much only has technology. Um, so that's what's up with that. Uh, also, this is just a, a finer detail of the same story, and it's people always show Doctor Doom these days in the movies at the same time as uh, the Fantastic Four got their powers. Like a lightning bolt comes down from the space accident or something, and it hits Doctor Doom, and he gets electrocuted, and that's why he's disfigured. That's not why he's disfigured. Doctor Doom is disfigured because of this. He went uh, to the mountains. He actually went all around the world studying, traveling, traveling, studying, learning about black magic and technology and sorcery. And one day he went to some, some place where they had a forge, okay? So he went up into the mountains, right? And uh, to this secret place, and I don't know why he needed a mask, but he told them, make me a metal mask. And they said, okay, and they made him that metal mask he wears, and they picked it up, two people picked it up with tongs, and he said, okay, put it on my face right now. So they went ahead and did that for him, and it screwed his face up. And, and that's why, that's why his face is screwed up. And... He was screaming at the time. He, he's screaming like, my face. Oh, man. The red hot iron. Or, you know, orange hot metal. Whatever. I've burned my face. And that's why Doctor Doom is disfigured. That's the story, which I think is pretty special. Um, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Da da da. Wait. 
That's not the story. That version of the story is incorrect. I made that up, kind of. Here's what really happened with Dr. Doom's face. It happened in two steps. Actually, it started when he was back at college. He was working on an experiment, and it blew up in his face. And, you know, the dean said, Dr. Doom, that experiment was horrible. Um, your scholarship is revoked. You know, something blew up in your face. That's just bad science. Get out of here. So... He had to leave, and I think at this point he probably said to himself, you know, oh, so those fools at the academy laugh at me, will they, you know, kick me out for for having a screwed up face just because I accidentally made something blow up in my face? Well, alright, fine fine I'm gonna here's my argument here's my argument I I'm gonna present the the idea that that a blown up face on its own without even the defense of it having occurred in the name of science is a worthwhile pursuit. So now I'm going to go to the mountains and I'm going to have them put a red hot iron mask on my face so the rest of my face gets screwed up just to have done that by itself. That's going to be this separate thing I'm going to do and I'm going to show it to everyone and they're going to be so jealous and they're going to feel so stupid back at my old college for kicking me out because I'm going to show them how good something <laughs> blowing up in your face is. And, uh, you know, I'm a great scientist anyway, and that's just going to prove it. It's going to prove that their point about me injuring my face, you know, didn't hold any water. So he went and he got the mask put on his face and he said, from now on, this is my face. I'm Dr. Doom, the guy who has things uh, injure his face, which is so great. <laughs> All right.